All right, this is housing. All of the gold we're going to get is at the bottom right of the bastion under these blocks here. There's a lot of different places you can start in housing. Sometimes you'll start at the top or in the middle or from outside the bastion. But you're always trying to get to the bottom right of this right rampart. There are nine gold blocks that generate 100% of the time in the exact same pattern. The best safest way to get your gold and piglins is to get into this corner behind this block. Place a block above your head, face the pit, dig three blocks downwards, dig two blocks ahead of you, then to the right, break this block, place a block to fill the back in, break the roof, start trading, get these other gold blocks, you want to dig two blocks ahead of you again, then to the left and the right, you break there and there, and that's all of the gold. Then place a block at their feet, get out of the hole, break the block in front of you. Then when you want to get your items, place one gravel above them, break a block diagonal to them, two blocks in the hole, and stand in the corner, give their gold back, and stand above the piglins to get the rest of the trades. While the piglins are trading, you can get this double chest. Next to this hole in the ground, break two blocks. Stand in this hole, you can get this chest. It's best to start at the bottom middle of the bastion. If you've got a good enough axe, it's good to break the chest and pick the items out of it. But if you've only got a wood or stone axe, it's probably best to just punch a piglin and then run. So now that I'm at the bottom of the bastion, I want to aggro them by hitting a guy and then run to the bottom right of the main bastion. Then once you're at the double chest, place a block diagonally to the chest, climb on top of it, place a block at head level, get gold armor out of the chest if you haven't already, dig a staircase up, climb to the top of these stairs now, there's going to be hostile piglins here, so break this block, and then quickly get into the hole. If you're able to start at the very top of the bastion, there's a hole you need to look for here. You want to fall down this, place one block at the very bottom, and then pillar up quickly to place a second block. Then check this double chest for any armor. If you've got no hostile piglins around, you can drop down from this and break this chest to aggro piglins. If you don't get any gold or armor, or if you've got a hostile piglin, it's best to just drop down, punch a guy and run. Once you've aggroed the piglins, you want to head to this back corner over here, run all the way down the stairs, at this intersection, drop down to the right, and then head straight here, and then you can start the route. The top right rampart of housing always generates as a triple chest, but the top left of housing has three different generation types. It can either be a triple, a single chest, or a ruin, which contains no chests at all. You can usually identify housing as it's the least wide bastion with only two main ramparts. The bottom section of housing is very offset from the main part of the bastion. The sides of the bottom of the bastion are very irregular, with no distinctive, consistent, flat walls. If you're at a triple and you're not sure what kind of bastion it is, if there is a hole in the ground near the stairs and you have a three block gap between the chests, you're at a housing. If it's only a two block gap, then you're at stables. If you're at a single chest and you're not sure what kind of bastion it is, if the chest is offset to the right of the middle, then you're at a housing. If the bottom middle of the bastion is very open, then you're at a housing. Check out my other videos on Minecraft speedrunning and subscribe for more.